Hey everybody, welcome back to Drone Tastic. I'm your host Dan, uh, encouraging you to like, share, and comment. And uh, if you want to be notified of future updates to this channel, uh, you can subscribe by hitting the notification bell or the uh, link at the end of the video. Uh, what I want to talk about today is uh, the Icon A5 that I bought. Uh, I did a maiden video on it uh, last week or so, and uh, I've got it right here. Um, unfortunately, the craft was not seaworthy. So I had to make some changes and adjustments to waterproof this unit. Um, and I think that's what we're going to talk about next. So stay tuned. All right, so there she is uh, from the other angle here, the Icon A5. Uh, again, like I said, she took on some water. I lost a servo. Um, and we'll explain that in a minute here. But that was the servo that uh, was lost. It's for the rudder. Um, sits in the bottom of the hull, I and mean, when water gets into the hull, obviously, and this is at the lowest point, then that's going to get ruined. It's going to take on water and and twitch a little bit. So, and there's my son over there goofing around. Yeah. He's uh he's got a uh, channel called what, Gabe? Gaming Gabe. I have three episodes of FNAF World and one episode of FNAF Two Demo. Check me out in the link in the description below. All right, excellent. Look at that, he's better at this than I am. All right, so uh, so I wanted to show you the things I had to do to waterproof this hull because uh, I don't want to lose another servo. Uh, I know they're only two bucks a piece if I buy some aftermarket stuff from Amazon, but the fact is, is uh, you know, this is supposed to be fun, not constant work and maintenance. You know, of course, you know, welcome to home ownership, right? So. All right, in any case, what happens is the two halves of this hull are, there we go, the two halves of this hull are sealed together with some kind of, with some kind of glue. It's yellow and, I mean, ish, and it's a different color. Let me put it up here. This is what it looked like before, it had that stuff on it. And uh, it wasn't enough to keep water out. I, in fact, found a hole in the seam here in the hull that uh, you know, I've since patched. You can see all this stuff here. This is Gorilla Glue. Uh, it tends to expand. It's a foaming glue, so it expands to fill uh, any of the holes. Kind of reminds me of great stuff, st something you might use on your windows uh, when you're putting windows in or, or a new door. So anyway, I ran a bead of it all the way up the length of that, and then I got every underwater edge with a coating of that basically and effectively sealing uh, basically effectively sealing the joints from any additional issues now um, the only way to really test this is you know it, it, I could I could put it in water I don't live near water um, I don't want to set up a kiddie pool to do this so uh, all I did was basically you know open my mouth up and put it on the bottom of the plane and just blow and when I blew air and it didn't blow through, then I would try, you know, then of course you suck test. And if you get suction, then you don't have a leak. So you're good to go. Anyway, so yeah, there's the bead running up the end. And I think this should work out pretty well. Uh, Gorilla Glue is fun to work with. You just wipe your surface down with some water uh, just to get it damp. And then you put that Gorilla Glue on there and she goes to work. So it's amazing stuff. Um, now, other guys believe in foam tack, and I've got some of that as well uh, as backup, just in case. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't see any problems with this uh, other stuff. The Gorilla Glue, the white Gorilla Glue. Um, you want to be specific on that? It looks like this. So that would be your your go-to if you wanted to do it this way. Um, the foam tack I also used, and I'll show you that here now. I ended up getting some CA glue because after the flight, let me flip this back over. After the flight, there we are, the, uh, the cockpit came apart, right? So the, uh, the plastic piece that houses the guy, the pilot inside is, uh, oh, that's dirty. I got to clean that up. But uh, he's... You know, he's happy in there now. Uh, it's all sealed up. We use super glue, uh, generous amount, as you can see from the overflow. I'm hoping that that stays sealed and on uh, from here on out, but uh, that's that. Now let me show you what happened inside the plane. So this is the inside of the aircraft, and you can already see there, 
I've got that uh, new servo in place. She's a nine gram servo. You get them for two bucks on Amazon. That's essentially what I've got. And she's on some medium or low density packing foam. Looks uh, like cut out of the corner of this sheet here. Uh, and I use the foam tack for that. Um, seems very strong. It's only been on there curing for about an hour and a half. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's really some serious stuff. Now you can see I got some play here on that, but that's to be expected. The, the glue is flexible, which would mean nothing with a hard flat surface, but in any case, this, uh, you know, all the flexion is in the, in the foam. And it's fine, and it's almost like a, like a vibration dampener. Um, let me fire it up and I'll uh, give you a look. I'm just going to do a little bit thing here. Yeah. And guys, make sure to download some cool games that I have on my phone, like Game Studio Trillionaire and like Dragon's Rise of Burke. And don't forget Gravitron. All right, that shameless plug brought to you by Gaming Gabe of YouTube. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to show the repair. The one thing that I, the reason I'm doing this here is because the one thing that the Tidewater, the Fly Zone Tidewater has uh, uh, an advantage over anything else is that uh, the secret they have to waterproofing everything is to make sure that nothing is against any surface on the side and everything is tucked away up inside. Like in here, they did a great job with the receiver by hiding it up inside of the aircraft, right up there. So what happens then is that that doesn't get wet. Everything else, including that servo down there, got, would get wet inside this hull. And that's obviously the only thing of value on the bottom. So this here just keeps it up off the surface. If it gets splashed with the water, so be it. But it's now so high off the floor that, you know, if I have that much water inside, she's not going to fly anyway. Um, so that's it. So let's uh, test it out here. I'm going to ask my cameraman to plug the battery in for me. But the transmitter is on. Oh, oh, wrong way. <laughs> oh. Okay, and then for the AS3X to initialize, I have to kind of level it out. So. Yep. That's the sound of the elevator working. And so now. I heard the sound of catch. I did too. I think that was my phone. <laughs> so based on that, you can see that the repair appears to be very functional. I've got plenty of travel on that elevator over there. Uh, just like stock, except better. So uh, if you're looking for a way to waterproof your, I, your A5 and uh, extend the longevity of that servo or replace it all together, uh, or you know need to replace it all together, this was my method. Um, your mileage may vary, but uh, I will take it out another day and see what we can find out. Hopefully it'll stay dry. If it does not uh, survive its new water maiden, um, um, I've been told this is excellent stuff and uh, obviously it worked out really really well for that servo so I believe it's the adhesion properties are great um, I've been told that this is also excellent for waterproofing and I could have run it along the joint and gotten myself a nice uh, a nice seal that way so if the Gorilla Glue doesn't work out I'll be going with foam tack um, I initially wanted to use weldwood contact cement but uh, like I used on a, on a rudder repair once, which by the way is working phenomenal, but uh, I think I'm going to stick with the foam tack because it seems to be designed for that and it's, a, uh, it's probably a more permanent solution. All right, that's it. Thanks for uh, stopping by. I hope that was helpful and or informative for those of you that have water problems with your icons. Uh, if you have any suggestions or additional tips you want to leave in the comments, that'd be great. Um, always looking to learn something new about waterproofing or and hobbying in general. This is, uh, you know, that's uh, what this is all about, learning and sharing. All right, uh, you have a great time, and uh, thanks for stopping by. Once again, uh, encouraging you to like, share, comment, and uh, if you want to know when I've got something new up here, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, take care of my buddy Gaming Gabe as well. All right, have a great one. Do not forget to check out my link in the description below. All right.